five. What's up, my name is Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we'll talk about five stocks that I'm actually adding to my position. So a lot of you guys have seen that there's a little bit of pullback in the market and people are starting to panic. But the, towards the end of the year, people actually start selling stocks even at a loss to upset some of the gains that they had throughout the year. So it's a tax strategy. So if you don't understand what's going on, definitely go read about it. But mostly you would see people sell because they want to upset their gains. So that's why I would tell you guys some of the stocks that I bought uh, during this pullback. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content so again guys it doing pull back like this in the market when you see the market pulling back a little bit some people panic and do two things so some will panic and sell and then some will panic and do nothing right so if you are one of those people you need to change that strategy because this is the only place where i have seen when things go on sale people run away that is the stock market i've never seen this anywhere else if you look at black friday when everything is on sale people stand in line and i mean i live in the midwest where sometimes we get like temperatures that are like 20 below People would bundle up and go stand in line to buy uh, a 32-inch TV, uh, a Samsung TV. But when they see the stock market is down 20, 30 percent, they run away. They sell and run away. It, it, the mentality has never made any sense to me. So I, I want you to start thinking differently. When you see the, the prices of stocks dropping, you that's where you start looking like hey where can i get in where is my entry point can i average down you start buying gradually to take advantage because you don't know where the bottom is going to be so you start buying slowly and walking your way down so make it so that when the stock market is on sale for you when you see a pullback you get excited you want to jump in and buy some stocks because as soon as that that thing hits bottom it's going to squeeze back up and you don't want to wait until it gets up there before you buy because most people People always make the mistake of like oh when the stock price pull back they they hold back and wait and watch then when it starts to go out they'll be like whoa and then jump in you don't want to do that you want to wait when it pulls back you buy the bottom again you don't know what the bottom is so that's why they always tell you to dollar cost average your way down so get in at the bottom there and so that when it rides back up you go along for the right and you're sitting in the green not buying at the top it goes down you sit in the red cross your fingers again this is not a strategy fingers crossing is not a strategy so wait until it goes back up again before you start seeing some green and when it gets to the top your green is not even as good as the people that bought from the bottom. So that's one thing I wanted to let you guys know. So you have to take advantage of this. There's a lot of um, stocks that I had pulled back this week, but um, I'm actually adding some that I, I think that they're going to squeeze back. Maybe just a three, four, five dollar spread. That's good enough for me and I can make some money off of that and move on to the next one. So let's jump right in here. Take a look at these companies that I, I said I, I bought. So the first one on my list here is Fuel Cell, ticker symbol FCEL. Um, right when this stock today, the stock actually went down to as low as uh, $10.30. So I got it somewhere around 10, 10, I got around 10, 40. Then it went down to 10, 10, 31. I didn't really wait for that day because I didn't know when it was going to turn around. So, but at least this one, if you can get it under $10, that would be fantastic. Uh, but again, I try to average my way down. So if it keeps dropping, then I keep adding uh, to my position. So that's the first one here. Few saw. Second one on my list is um, Arriver. You guys know that I'm a big fan of this company. I mean, I've talked about this company here on the channel. I've actually interviewed their, their president. Uh, if you didn't watch the video, I have the video up on the channel, which I'm going to hook up here so you can definitely go check them out. I just, I mean, like, I love the, the way the company approaches electric vehicles. Their designs are amazing and they're doing the whole, not just the holistic uh, thing about, uh, you know car manufacturing they're not just building the cars they're also building technology and other things that uh would support other um 
EV company. So that's what one of the things I like about them. So um, right now they're going through the process of being merged with um, CCIG merger, and that's their the spark that's taking them public. And so today, look at where the price came down. It dropped all the way to about twenty six dollars and seventy five cents. So if you missed it, if you missed this bottom, look at it. Squeeze back up and finish the day uh, at about twenty nine dollars. So that's a spread of about three dollars on some change. So again, you have to be attentive and watch this. When you see the market start pulling red, you start looking at opportunities to start adding to your position to bring down your 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 cost. If you're somebody that got in at a very high uh, uh, price. The next one is MP Material. Again, this is another one that another company that uh, you know produces rare uh, earth materials that are used for electric vehicles and uh, a lot of other areas uh, in manufacturing. So uh, the stock price actually dropped to today. If you look at right here, uh, open up and pull down to twenty nine dollars. And again, guys, you have to time and catch these entries. And so this is an opportunity. If we look at this stock, um, this is just um, this is December twenty second. The stock was trading at thirty eight dollars. So the fact that it's dropped down to thirty, that's about an eight dollar drop. So uh, an opportunity for you to start getting in. So I picked up some here, and then uh, the, 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 I think the fourth one here that I have is Fobu TV. Um, this one is an interesting one to me. Um, this stock is actually right now, if you look the last month, the stock is up um, 37%. But if you look the past week, the stock is down 33%. So what does that mean to me? I mean, the fact that the stock is down 33% the last week, um, I, there was an article that I saw that really knocked this company uh, down, talked about how it was just, um, I don't know, maybe it was a shot seller talking about how bad the company was. They can never compete with Netflix. But I think that this company has an opportunity. I mean, there's room for them um, in the space of, you know, live TV and, and sports and all this other stuff. So um, I think they still have potential. Are they going to be Netflix? No, they're never going to be Netflix. Are they going to be the top streaming company that would see? I don't think so. But is there a market for them? I think, yes, there is a market. So in the meantime, I'll take advantage of the opportunity that they're giving me, make some money, and hopefully move on or stay. We'll see. So right again, you see this one dropped and dropped down to that that thirty something dollar price where you can you can get it. So uh, see today came down to about thirty six, and then before squeezing back up to thirty nine. So if you keep, if you if you paid attention, you could have bought it somewhere down here throughout the day. So that those are opportunities that uh, some of you guys probably miss. But if not. Again, don't beat yourself up. These opportunities always come around and you have to pay attention to the news and make sure that you know what's going on to that. When you see, when these things happen, you don't sit back and not, not, not take advantage of them. Uh, and then the last one that I actually added a little bit to my position is uh, Helion. So again, this is one company that I, I, I mean, I profile here on the channel before they actually went public. I told you guys uh, that the one thing I like about this company is the fact that um, their whole concept business model is not to go design their own truck like Nikola and Tesla are trying to do. These guys are just basically like, hey, um, bring us a big semi truck that will convert it to electric or convert it to um, you know, an EV, EV truck or hybrid. So that's how they do it. And I think it's a business model because there's thousands and thousands, if not millions of trucks out on the, on the highway that are fossil fuel. And if these guys can convert all those into electric or hybrid and save the owners a ton of money before they start transitioning to a fully electric uh, semi trucks that would be awesome so that's one that i want you guys to see so the same thing here um just taking that bidding today again look at um the thing opened up at about right here at about 16 uh 42 pulled down to 16 16 1603 and then finish the day at just about 16. So again, you try to catch these opportunities somewhere down here and pick up some shares and just keep adding to your position. And that's how you continue to uh, lower your, your, your dollar cost average 
and then so that when this thing squeeze back up you are in a good position so uh those are the five stocks that I actually added a little bit to my position and again guys it doesn't mean that you have to go out and buy one two three thousand shares no if you can pick up 10 15 shares every little share matters so pick up as little as you can you just add it to your position even if you're just buying one or two the mistake that most people do is just sitting there and hoping like oh i wish i had one thousand dollars i wish i had two thousand dollars i wish i had three thousand dollars but you have a hundred dollars right pick up two three four or five shares and add them to your position and reduce your, your your average cost down and that's how you continue to build your position and if you, if you didn't have a position in these companies you start picking and pick one one, two or three shares and just hang on to them as you get more money and you see opportunities like this you continue to act and build your position you don't want to you don't build a massive position overnight you slowly and gradually build it but the one thing you don't want to do is not be consistent so stay consistent keep adding to your position once opportunity arises and that's how you're going to continue to grow your account and before you know it you're going to have a big account and you're going to be surprised that you have a big account so again guys let me know in the comment section those five stacks i added to my position uh what did you add during this pullback and i'm anticipating that uh, the market's going to continue pulling back until the end of the year and then we'll see what happens starting um january i think the first three weeks in january gonna be a little bit shaky we don't know what's gonna happen yet but um hopefully things are calm and the market can get back to normal and if we get a new president you start looking at his policies you start looking at the stocks that uh, those policies would impact a lot and so you start making that decision to see where you want to start deploying your money so that would be the strategy and i'll talk about that here on the channel in depth because um i know a lot of you guys are buying some stocks but i want you to start buying what i call long-term positions like reputable companies and i have a list of my tech stocks that i'm buying that are long term i mean i'm talking about stocks that have a reputation that you cannot touch them at all so i want you to have some of those not just um these new names and early players in the game yes these ones are high risk high reward but also balance your portfolio by holding long-term good strong growth companies that you can count on so when you see dips you buy and i'm gonna i'm gonna share some of the ones that i'm, I'm actually buying or adding uh, my position on again with you guys in the coming weeks if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content and guys the best way that you can support my work here on the channel is just to give it a thumbs up and hit that share button so that we can reach more people and as always guys don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated Thank you.